said, I wrote this speech, and it is titled, No to Slow Death Row. Universal greetings to all of you present, and to those that could not attend, their presence remains with us. However, I, Jamal, the son of Mumei Abu Jamal, have brought a message from my dear father that I must share with all of you here in Germany, simply reminding everyone that he has not obtained any victory of any type and remains in a U.S. slow death row prison. Unfortunately, our adversaries are blatantly discrediting the continuous fight to save Mumia's life. Slow death row is a slap in our political faces from all races, castes, and class of the working people. From across the U.S., Europe, and abroad, that have put in years of hard work, fearless in resistance within this struggle to bring Mumia home. We must not stop and accept such malicious injustice towards my father Mumia, an innocent man, falsely persecuted to slow death row. Yes, even here in Germany, we must unite together across lands, oceans, and political agendas, and stand firm together in demand for Mumia's freedom. Today, resistance is more powerful than ever. We are more computer literate and technology advanced that every spark of light together brings forth a spotlight of truth and strength and united. Life for many are taken in tolls within everyday events to enjoy freedom with loved ones, family, and reach common goals. Whereas Mumir, whom for the first time embraced his 26-year-old first grandson, my son Jamal, since he was born 26 years ago, never touched his grandfather. People, Mumia has been deliberately denied such liberties under the guise of corruption from the start, at the bloody hands of U.S. mendicious legal system and original district attorney Ed Rendell, amongst other Philadelphia unsavory officials. Some has risen to enormous political power on this framework against Mumia that conspired and manufactured guilt, knowing to wrongfully place him initially on Pennsylvania death row for almost 30 years. For the people constantly challenging such rogue injustice of an innocent journalist, well known amongst the unfortunate and poor, we must stand together, firm and steadfast, having a voice against police brutality, racism, rogue acts of injustice against people of color and the misfortunate dare report publicly such unsavory acts to the public take undying love for the people. It is clear that he is innocent and took a stand against injustice. His adversaries refuse to acknowledge, instead wishes to bury on slow death row. We must not accept this blatant injustice. Take a stand with the first family of Mumia, and together we are a force that say no to slow death row. And together, free Mumia now. Sign the first family petition demanding Mumia freedom now. Thank you kindly for taking this stand with Mumir in solidarity, Jamal Ibn Mumir. Website was established 
to allow the international supporters to be able to be in contact with other groups that support us as well around the world. And it is ran by the family and we are asking for you to deliver your questions and your thoughts and your messages that you want to give to Mumir that you may have given to others. We are here and I have the family petition. It is on that website page that people can go to freedom, the number four, mumir.org and please support. This is the copy I'm reading. Is Mumir Abu Jamal is innocent. Free Mumir now. Mumir Abu Jamal is an innocent man. For almost three decades, he faced legal lynching. In December 2011, the Philadelphia DA and Fraternal Order of Police, backed by Edward Mendel, former Pennsylvania governor, Philadelphia mayor, and the DA who prosecuted Mumir, conceded defeat in trying to execute him. Mumir is now sentenced to slow death row, life imprisonment without parole. Life imprisonment is an outrage. Free Mumir now. Mumir's conviction for the shooting death of police officer Daniel Faulkner was a political and racist frame-up. Mumir was a spokesman for the Black Panther Party, exposed the murderous treatment of the MOVE organization, and was an award-winning journalist, the voice of the voiceless. From moments after the shootings, the police and prosecution manufactured Mumir's guilt and actively suppressed his innocence. Evidence that someone else shot and killed Officer Faulkner. The notorious trial judge, Albert Sabo, a self-proclaimed racist and openly biased against Mumir, declared before the trial, I'm going to help fry the nigger. All elements of due process, the right to a fair trial, were violated. Every part of the prosecution's case, witness testimony, Mumir's supposed confessions and ballistics, is a lie. The police, prosecution, and justice department colluded to secure Mumir's conviction and death sentence for a crime he did not commit, including hiding that the ranking officer on the scene, Inspector Afonso Giordano, was under federal investigation for police corruption. Mumir continues to be outspoken and truth-telling, in defiant, resistant to state repression and racial oppression. The state wants to silence and entomb for life this man who is known as a long distant revolutionary. We stand with Mumir. Mumir's freedom is part of our struggle for justice and human liberation. We demand free Mumir now, release Mumir Abu Jamal immediately from the hell holes of prisons. And you can get this petition on the website. It is freedom, the number four, mumir.org, and you can sign and join the struggle. This is the family. This is not affiliated with any legal or nothing. This is the family campaign to bring Mumir home. My father, he believes that the international support of the people will force the United States government to release him from the injustice incarceration. I would like to thank you all for having me here, and I have come all the way from America to let you know and see in human flesh that our struggle is real, and we stand in solidarity with all of the supporters. There is no voice or no question that will not be answered. Thank you, and have a great day at the convention.